This video tutorial will guide you through the calendar setup of My Vision Express. The following topics will be covered in this video. Personalizing the calendar, setting up a physician in the calendar, calendar options, and setting up resource availability. Calendar setup, we will personalize the calendar with the calendar times, work week times, and we will select a time zone setting. We will begin personalizing the calendar by going to File Setup Company. Under File Setup Company, go under the Calendar tab. You will see the Calendar Settings section. We will start here with the start time of your calendar and select an end time, and you can select the default duration for your calendar to display. Under the Work Week section, we will start by selecting the days that our office is closed. So I will select Sunday and Saturday for my example. Then you will set up the start time and the end time for your business hour. So I'll have my start time as 8.30 and my end time at 7 o'clock. Under the time zone settings, select your time zone. You can also check off the box to automatically adjust the clock for daylight saving changes. Once you're done making the appropriate settings for this section, make sure that you save and log off in order for the changes to take into effect. Now that we have personalized the calendar times and we log into the calendar, we will see that the times that we set up are reflecting on our calendar. Setting up a physician on the calendar. We will set up a physician to be viewed on the calendar and that physician will also be available to take pre-appointments. We will start by going to File, Setup, Physician Resource In-House. The Physician In-House window will display the physicians that have been set up in My Vision Express. So for example, we have Dr. Benjamin Franklin and Dr. Herman Schnellen. In the Details section, make sure that the calendar box is checked off. That way this physician will be displayed in the calendar. Also, the pre-appointment box should be checked off, indicating that this physician will see pre-appointments. I will do the same thing under my second physician, Dr. Herman Schnellen. Now that I have my physicians set up in the calendar, when I go under a grouping, I'll be able to see those physicians set up. So this is group by date. You can see that both my Dr. Benjamin Franklin and Dr. Herman Schnellen are showing on the calendar. As well, if I group by physician, you will see that they will reflect in the calendar. Calendar options. In this section, we will be able to select if we want to view the calendar by patient or service. We will also set specific colors for service, status, office area, and resource. To set up these calendar options, we will start by going to File, Setup, Company. In the Company window, you will go under the Systems tab and find the Calendar Settings section. Here, you have a calendar caption option of Patient or Service. When you choose the patient option and schedule an appointment in the you will see that the patient's name is what will be displayed on the calendar. Under the calendar captions, you also have the option of service. When you select the service radio button as a caption, you will see that your calendar will now display the service instead of the patient's name. You can set specific colors for the service that you have selected as a caption under the colors button. Here, you will select service, the first radio button, and you will see a list of all of the services that have been set up in My Vision Express. Next to each service, you can specify the color that you want to represent that service. At the bottom, you will also see the calendar unavailable color. In my example, I have it set up as lawn green. Now that I have selected the colors that I want to represent each service, Notice that that color will be the one that will reflect in the calendar when you schedule an appointment. In this same color section, using the colors button, you can specify a status and its specific color. Now that I have logged back into the calendar, I will see that my appointment has changed from the service color of thistle to white, which is the color for the status of a new appointment. If I change the status of the appointment, it will again update and show the color depending on the status. Using the colors button under calendar settings, we can also specify the office. Using the office radio button, you can set up specific colors for 
where in the office the patient is. This reflects when using the patient tracker. You can access the patient tracker from the calendar using the patient tracking button at the top. In the patient tracker under the office area column, you can indicate where in the office the patient is. The colors that you have set up for each particular office area will now be reflected. Under the systems tab, using the colors button once again, we can also choose the resource radio button. This will allow us to set up a specific color for our specific physician or resource that you have set up in My Vision Express. Notice that in my example, I have chosen spring green to represent Dr. Benjamin Franklin and gold to represent Dr. Herman Schnellen. Now that I have selected the colors for my physician and my resources, I will be able to see those colors in the calendar when I select a grouping. If I group by date, I will see that the spring green and the gold are represented for each physician. Also, when grouping by physician, you will also see those colors. You will also be able to view that specific color for the physician when using the physician filter here. Specify the physician calendar that you would like to see, and you will see the spring green there is representing Dr. Benjamin Franklin in this particular calendar. Setting up a resource availability. We will set up holidays, specific unavailable times, and set up any available times for a specific service. To set up resource availabilities, you will need to select the resource availability tab in the calendar. We will start by setting up our holidays. So for example, Labor Day. I will go to Monday, September the 1st, and select on the 9 a.m., which is the time that my calendar starts. I will double click on the cell and select the holiday checkbox here. I can set up a reoccurrence for this to happen yearly on September the 1st, or I can say on the first Monday of September. I can also set an end date for the reoccurrence. Now that I have set up the holiday, if I go to my appointments tab, I will see that it is unavailable for that day. Under the holidays button at the top, I will also see where I have created my holiday for the date and the reoccurrence information. To set up a specific unavailable time, you can start by going to the time that you want to start that unavailability. So for example, if I want my physician, Benjamin Franklin, to be out for lunch and make him unavailable from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., I will select the 1 p.m. cell and double click. Notice here I have my location and my physician starting on Monday, August the 25th from 1, and I will change here to 2 p.m., and I will select the unavailable radio button. I will also be able to set up a reoccurrence. So if I want this to be every day of the week, Monday through Friday, I can select the dates here and I can select a reoccurrence end time. Notice that my unavailable time is now reflecting on the calendar under the resource availability tab. And if I go to the appointments tab and I refresh my calendar, I will see that Dr. Benjamin Franklin is no longer available between one and two o'clock in the afternoon. If I were to try to schedule an appointment at this unavailable time at 1 p.m., it will give me an alert that says that the physician is not available at this time. To set up a specific available time for a specific service, start by selecting the start time. Let's say in my example, 10 a.m. I will double click on that cell and get this window. Here, I will indicate the available time, select the available radio button, and select my service from the dropdown. So let's say from 10 to 10.30, I wanna see existing patient intermediate exam. I can also set up a reoccurrence using the reoccurrence button. So let's say I want this to be every week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can also indicate the reoccurrence end date. Any special notes that you wanna write about this available time, you can indicate under the notes section and select okay. Notice now that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Dr. Benjamin Franklin will be seeing existing patients from 10 to 10.30. Under the appointments tab, I can refresh my calendar and see that now blue represents that particular cell, indicating the service that's available at that time. In the resource availability tab, you can select the copy resource availability button at the top of the calendar. In this area, you can copy from one physician to another. So for example, I will select to copy from Benjamin Franklin over to Dr. Herman Schnellen starting on Sunday, August the 24th, ending on Saturday the 30th. Notice that now all of my resource availability and unavailability that I have set up has now copied over to Dr. Herman Schnellen. 
This concludes this video tutorial on the calendar setup of MyVision Express.